Welcome back to Guns and Gear Network, everyone. Thank you for tuning in today. Uh, this is a continuation video of the Dosco Campmate uh, chuck box that I did a video on. It's just explaining and introducing you to the box if you haven't ever seen it. And this right here is a continuation. I just want to show you a few modifications and kind of how I have mine set up. Even if you don't have the Dosco Campmate box, this right here may give you some ideas if you're wanting to... Uh, outfit your own chuck box whether you're making your own or you're just using kind of plastic totes this may give you some ideas of what to carry in the field now the everything that uh, i have here fits inside the dosco campmate with the lid closed and um everything intact that way i've kind of to shorten the video i've went ahead and opened it up and got everything exposed so it's much easier and quicker for the video because the video is going to be a little long anyway so i just wanted to kind of shorten it up where i could all right so let's start up top here and i'm gonna have to pick the camera up a little bit if you notice up here in this section i have the coleman oven and i have some pans and that actually fits under the lid when the uh, dosco can't make lid is on it also i've went and found this this is a shepherd's hook if you can get a good view of that and what I did was I went down here and drilled, marked it and drilled two holes. And I shortened, let me take this back off. I shortened the uh, spiky ends so it would fit underneath with the lid well, on it because they were too long and it stuck out so I couldn't get the lid shut all the way. And actually I don't need them that long just to stick them in here anyway. And now I actually have a way to hang a lantern or something like this solar light. Uh, something like that but I have that um, also and I'm probably going to go ahead and drill holes on this side and that way I'm going to put another shepherd's hook and that way because I have room for it with the with packing everything up and that way I can actually have uh, another one just to hang something else if I need to all right so let's get into the box a little bit and what I've got in mind this may give you some ideas of what you could use for yours all right so in this section here I've got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten spices along with salt and pepper. Um, I used a peel container and I have toothpicks in here. You can use toothpicks obviously for what they're designed for. You could also potentially use them in assisting you in cooking somehow if you needed to. Uh, what I've done, I've went in and bought dedicated spice containers off the internet. I found these on eBay. If anybody's interested and wants to know where I got them, you can... Um, just ask that question, I'll post the uh, link to where I found them from the supplier from eBay. Uh, but they're nice little containers. <clears throat> has the automatic, it has the uh, shaker lid built in. And I went in and, and labeled everything with my label maker. So I have red pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, cayenne pepper, cinnamon sugar, garlic salt, cinnamon, chili powder, seasoned salt, and Old Bay. So that's my spices for here. And then I've used uh, a smaller container. I save containers like this all the time because I may need them for something like this specific thing I'm doing here. And now I have Dawn dishwashing soap in there. Fits right inside of there. So, and then I just bought two salt and pepper, the plastic salt and pepper shakers. Bought those at Dollar Tree. All right, so if you move to the bigger section here, what I've got going on, I just did a review of this uh, Eco Camp uh, outdoor gear cook set so i stuck it in here so i actually have a small uh individual cooking set if i don't want to drag out i don't need my big pans that i'm getting ready to show you so let me get my tripod back together here guys i'm having to move around a lot all right so i got that in there i've got one container there i've got this here we consist of a couple of uh, pot holders it consists of a couple bar towels or hand towels. Uh, you could use them for drying dishes, obviously. It has a couple of uh, smaller uh, washcloth style towels for wiping down your surface areas, for cleaning, things like that. I have two scouring pads and I have a sponge all in this bag here. So then I have another container of fuel. I have this MSR. Um, cook set which has uh, two uh, size pots in it with a lid both of them have lids and I have that here so I can cook larger meals and so, so forth I have 
these plates, there's four plates. I did a review specifically on these. These are the, I think they're Stan Sport, and you can, I, if you want to go back and look through my videos, you can find the review I did of this camp set. These are metal plates. They're very durable. I have those in there. And then I went to my local Goodwill, and I found just a decent uh, aluminum pot, the, or a uh, frying pan. This one here is 11 inches. This is more of a skillet because it's got the tall uh, edge on it, and it's not more of a flat. Um, what I did was I just wanted something cheap and easy, and I may change this later. Uh, I went ahead and took the handle off, and I'll show you why here in a minute. I don't want to save some space inside of here, and the handle just wasn't needed, and I'll, I'll show you here that here in a second. Um, but you could use all kinds of things. This actually would fit a little bit bigger. I've measured it, and it would probably fit about an 11-inch um, frying pan. So you have that. So I'm going to kind of put this stuff back as I go to show you how it all fits. And um, but you can go in here and I put my fuel over to one side and when you the tighter you pack this it actually helps secure stuff that's already in here so it don't rattle around and roll around and so forth but uh, take this and I shove it in here take this and I'm gonna not put this in for a second I'll show you why all right so the reason I'm not putting this back in is because it, it's too tight on this drawer that I need to pull out and show you so this was your drawer for your silverware and stuff and if you guys are out looking for camping silverware go to walmart i found i went to dollar tree at first and they have two packs you know of, of forks you know they come in a little two pack wrapped together and it's a dollar well i found a four pack believe it or not they're four spore uh four forks four uh, knives and four spoons all for 82 cent a piece over in their uh, cutlery section just kind of have to look around but these are here i just show you the uh, packaging it's called mainstays which is one of their house brands and so what i did was i bought a service for eight and now i had a bunch of used silverware around the problem was it was uh, and it was uh, stainless steel problem with it it was so heavy it was just more durable because so I had a bunch of old sets from years past, things like that. These right here for all stainless steel, they're uh, decent quality, but they're fairly lightweight. Keep in mind, this setup, you're not worried about weight because if you were, you would not be carrying this big thing anyway. So at this point, I don't really care. If I gain five pounds, but I've got more equipment and gear, I don't really care. So it doesn't bother me one bit. Um, so some things I have in here you may want to consider taking in your box. I've got some chopsticks also thrown in. I've got eight knives, eight forks, and eight spoons. And I've got this little brush if I need to uh, brush any you know things on to my food. I have this for checking uh, temperatures. I have a knife sharpener. I have uh, a set of spoons, measuring spoons. I've got a um, one-third measuring cup if you got one third and a uh, quarter you can do basically any measurements you need so those are the two i chose and they're stainless steel um for my camping gear i want things bomb proof so again if this is a bug out situation and this is going to be for my base camp i don't want to be in a situation where i've got plastic spoons and knives and stuff and they just don't last these right here will last a lifetime, so you can pass those around generation to generation. That's why I've got so many uh, older silverware sets. Some of them my mother gave me probably when I was a teenager, uh, you know, or had my first apartment or something. So, you know, have some quality stuff. I've got a multi-purpose multi can opener, bottle opener. Uh, this thing's got a little everything on it. It's got where you can punch a hole in the top of a can. It's got a, a bottle opener. It's got everything. So I can open a can with it. It's got everything on it. So I got that in there. And that fits back in here. And then this, like I said, it's a little tight, but it does wedge up in here. Get that piece back in. And I know this camera works terrible. I'm having to do the camera myself, guys, and I apologize. Um, but that fits up in there. Then <clears throat> over onto this section. We'll do one drawer at a time. So this drawer here, the reason I took the handle off um, is because I have this handle. It's a built-in camping style handle that goes on the MSR pots. It goes on that frying pan, multiple use. So I have this one here. It's very lightweight. It's aluminum. So I have a plastic spatula. Again, I bought this, uh, this stuff at uh, Walmart. I think this was 82 cent. I have a uh, 
light my fire knife. This is stainless. Everything in my kitchen set is going to be stainless because you're going to be, you know, washing and things like that. I don't want rust and um, with my food. So this is a stainless. It's a very versatile knife uh, for, you know, kitchen use. It also has the built-in fire starter. And the fire starter is strong enough, it would light my Coleman stove. I also have some other lighters. Obviously, this area has a little extension, so I can light my Coleman stove with it. I have a slotted spoon. I have a pair of scissors. Scissors are probably one of the most used tools in my kitchen. You know, opening bags, all kinds of things, uh, it works. And then I have an assortment of knives. So I've got, you know, something just a steak knife. I may want to use it to, you know, cut some bread, things like that. I have a dedicated fruit style knife for uh, cutting up uh, apples or what have you. And then I've got two full size kitchen knives if I need to do that type of work also. Again, you have the room in this thing, so why not use it? Um, a lot of this stuff, I, some of the stuff I had in my kitchen, some of it I bought specifically dedicated for this. Um, you know, again, at Walmart or Dollar Tree, somewhere like that, and I just found it and bought it. Uh, but I did find doing this shopping, guys, that, and I've heard this before, that a lot of times the stuff you find at Dollar Tree, you can actually find cheaper at Walmart. And yeah, that actually played out true in a lot of this uh, with mine. So in this section here, I've got a, uh, a long fire starter. I've got a knife like this, I mean a knife, a fork like this for a longer distance for your, you know, around uh, like a campfire type situation. I've got a set of tongs. I've got a scrub brush to clean up my uh, camp dishes and things. I have a stainless spatula. I've got a couple wooden spoons. Again, I bought a set of wooden spoons and I only needed two for this uh, chuck box. So I took these two, uh, the other ones, and I just put in my kitchen drawer. So I've got two uh, wooden spoons. I've got two serving style stainless spoons. I've got a ladle that I bought also at, uh, I think I bought that at Walmart also. It was one of those, you know, 88 cent kind of prices. Got that. And then I have a larger wooden spoon that's actually made of bamboo. So you have all that in that one drawer. So yeah, when they say I'm taking everything but the kitchen sink, this right here, you actually get to take the sink because the lid doubles as a kitchen sink. So everything's in this thing and it should be able to pack it up. That's one thing I like about it. I don't have to go searching around my house uh, or my garage or my bug out trailer, finding all this stuff or digging it through totes. I open this up uh, and set it on a table and I'm ready to go in just a matter of minutes. All right, so in this section, I have this bag here that has Ziploc bags in it. If you have some extra food that you've cooked, you don't want to go to waste, you know, you can um, bag it and save it and uh, be able to do that. If you need to portion some food, you can do that. So always carry you some uh, fresh Ziploc bags. I have four coffee cups. These are from that same set that I showed you. And then I have some aluminum foil. This right here is sheets of aluminum foil that I've simply taken out of the pack and then folded it up nicely and put it in here. Use it for baking, you can use it for covering up your food, you can do a lot of things with aluminum foil obviously in a kitchen. So this is a mobile kitchen and that's what I like about it. I'm carrying everything that I would need to cook and, and clean and all that. But then I have eight bowls. I have uh, four of the stainless bowls that came with the set and then I've added the uh, uh enamelware out of the other set that i had the camping set so i have eight bowls and eight plates and eight serving utensils per person uh for eight people let's put all this back in here like that all right onto this section here i have a um set of uh, garbage bags. There's probably, I think, six or eight garbage bags that I've rolled up and put in here. Then I have a cutting board that I can use uh, to cut up vegetables, you know, meats, whatever you need to do. Then I have, this right here is the paper towel holder that attaches to your chuck box. I actually have my, and I've done a review of this, this is a folding uh, portable uh, wood stove so it's for cooking but I wanted to in case I didn't want to use all my fuel or I ran out of fuel or my stove broke for some weird reason uh, I had a backup to be able to cook so I had this it fit in here nice and easy because it's flat and I have that in here also if I need to cook with natural vegetation like wood um, I also have the section plates 
that came with the set in there and then I have this and you think what is that well it's actually a folding dog bowl but it's made of silicone uh, silicon and it actually would work great for a mixing bowl or something if you need something a little larger and I've just washed it out obviously and uh, it was brand new when I bought it and my dogs have never used it so I actually going to use it for this purpose as a portable mixing bowl you can get a lot of volume but not take up a lot of space in something like this so you can fold it all back down flat and it fits in a tight small space now so again it's about kind of getting creative thinking about where you know what products you're buying and how you can utilize them again that's a dog bowl but I'm going to use it in this now and I think it'll work great for that uh, in case I need to mix up you know some cornbread mix or something like that or maybe some biscuits I'm trying to make with some Bisquick uh, you know at camp I have the ability to do that now so uh, takes a little bit to get everything in here but I promise you it does fit you just saw me take it out I'm gonna probably have to reorganize this how I stuck it in here because I let's see, let's stick that in first maybe all right there we go so this goes there this goes back in there and then this so again this uh, something as simple as these bags here kind of hold everything in place keep it from rattling around all right onto this section here i have cooking oil two different styles i have the you know just standard liquid style then i have which is a vegetable oil i have a spray I have soy sauce, I have uh, hot sauce, and then I have Parmesan cheese. So you can do what, whatever your imagination brings you. You can you know, put it into something like this. But I feel like this is a very comprehensive kit that's got everything. As a matter of fact, I hadn't shown it yet, but I will show you. Underneath this, inside of the stove, and I'll show you. And I drink mostly, if I'm going to drink coffee on the trail, I don't really brew coffee. So I don't need a coffee pot per se. I usually use something, uh, some of the instant style coffees. There's a few good ones around. Starbucks makes a halfway decent one. But anyway, I've got two of these larger cutting uh, pads uh, that are flexible that I've got just stuck inside of my stove. And shut it up like that and it doesn't take up any space but uh, anyway guys get creative you know if again if you're considering buying one of these chuck boxes um, I think it's well worth the money these things are awesome I'm really excited that I got it I'm really excited with my setup now and I feel like I can uh, now grab kind of grab and go uh, even you guys that do tailgating something like this would be perfect for that it has you know basically a mobile kitchen with everything in it that you would need um, for the you know same as you would at your home but anyway guys appreciate you tuning in if you have any questions post those below if you got any comments about something maybe you would have do different or whatever just be sure you post that uh, i'd like to hear from you maybe some suggestions that i you know may have not thought of or something uh, that would be great just uh, post that up if you wouldn't like our videos give us that thumbs up it's over in that section over there if you do like our videos share them they're over in that section you just hit the share button and you'll, you'll be able to share it on facebook and google plus and your social media areas that's always appreciated like pinterest and stuff um as always guys like share and subscribe and i'll be bringing another video shortly have a great day